Becoming a follower of Jesus didn't come naturally to me. I didn't grow up in a Christian home. In the years since then, I have bet my life on the resurrection of Jesus and the truth about the Bible's message of Him being God and us being His people. Second, I'm a worshiper. It's my calling. It's my anointing. God, I love to bring people into your presence, to love you. Lord. And I will We're just going to lift our voices now to sing it. Holy, holy, holy. And music is an important part of that. But music's not the only way that we worship God. And so, uh, to me, it's much more important that we have an experience, face-to-face -face experience with God, that we celebrate Christ, objectively, sacramentally, also emotionally, personally, that we would worship in spirit and in truth. It's not the performance from up front, but the collective work of the people. It's the prayer of the people to God. And that's what I try to do as a worship leader, is to always be aware of the congregation and uh, what we collectively are doing. Jesus Christ, have mercy on, mercy on me. Jesus Christ, have mercy on, mercy on, Jesus Christ is on. I married my high school sweetheart, Ellen, and uh, not too long into our marriage, we claimed a verse as our life verse. I was young and now I am old, yet have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. They are always generous and lend freely. Their children will be blessed. We came to realize how important the concept of hospitality was in the Bible. And so we decided to commit ourselves to radical hospitality to use our family, to minister to our family and through our family. And we really want to take seriously what Peter said about caring for widows and orphans. Lastly, I'm a disciple maker and uh, my job has been for the last 29 years uh, teaching at a university. But really, I think if you would say, so what do you teach? I would say, I teach students. That's what I teach. I teach students. My job is to help students become who God has made them to be so that they can fulfill what God has called them to do. Part of that is teaching music, and part of it is teaching wisdom and life. A few years ago, I started an ensemble called the World Music Worship Ensemble. Because I believe in, if you saw my family, you would know, I believe in uh, being sensitive to other cultures and to diversity. Um, generationally, I think maybe if Jesus were a worship leader, he would focus each week at some of that time on children. He'd probably sing, Jesus Loves Me, or I, I Love You, maybe would be the name of the song. <laughs> National Missionary Convention, we gathered uh, people who were former students who were in the Cincinnati area who were worship leaders. And so this is me with my former students, sometimes letting, uh, often letting them be the upfront people because that really is what God has called me to do. These are the moments when I say I have the best job in the world. Uh, when I see students take creativity and create a new moment and uh, lead in worship, it's a, it's a great joy to my life. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God.
So I guess that's me in a nutshell. I hope to see you in person. The Lord bless you.